Alright, what is up you guys? Cause always welcome back to another OU battle with us truly Let's get and today we're going up against Reddit player Chris Who um, really 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 looked interested I um, really don't want to see what he tries to bring to the table I'm um, as always we're kind of worried but no No, he he said he looked at my content and <laughs> Oh dude, this is this is kind of cool though He is absolutely counter teaming me to an extent uh, Jardos looks kind of weird. I've never seen Jardos in a rain team, or I mean, in um, it could be Stick Web or it could be Trick Room team. But I'm feeling Trick Room, right? I'm not weird for thinking that. Um, best lead, Rude and Hot is really good. Um, his lead should be Vickable though. Now that I think about it, so I think. There is no weird, like, I don't lose anything by leading off with um, uh, Runergius. Besides him, of course, uh, over predicting that and leads off with uh, Crawdont. But this was a cool team from Chris. And that is a magnificent picture. <laughs> he said I was looking at my content and I wanted to bring something to kind of deal with what I've been using, so... I have mad respect for bring, or facing off a team that I can only be calling out for being potentially counter-teaming me. I think the combination is really good. So he's gonna trace my Wandering Spirit, so yeah. That's good. Um, now he could have Ice Beam. So I'm gonna Trick Room first. He withdraws, alright, cool. To Hatterini. That's aggressive. Um, that's very aggressive, actually. Now I have two options. He probably was predicting um, the magic bounce or my stealth rocks. So I could go for Polter guys, so we could switch in Porygon too. He just decided to stay in. Uh, Barberry Berry. Right. We're gonna get a huge chunk of damage onto this. Oh, yeah, we blow him away. Oh, we blew him away there. I was really scared him bringing Porygon 2 there, just kind of, not to say countering, but rather responding properly. <laughs> so, if I were him, like this is a golden chance to get in Crawdon, yeah. <laughs> like there is just, there is just no way you cannot abuse that. Uh, Knockoff is the easiest play he never had to make. And... Uh, so is Aqua Jet, and I think about it, but it doesn't need to outspeed me. Ooh, I don't like this one bit. Like, I am faster, so I can't go for Earthquake and damage him. Let's see, how many turns do I have left? Two more turns. So yeah, I'll, I'll do the denting thingy. Because, yeah, like, Crab Hammer or Liquidation or even... Um, Knockoff makes more sense. Knockoff is an absolute KO. Actually wasn't. He's gonna lose his adaptability, which is very helpful. But he will be able to follow that up with an Aqua Jet, which means we bring in Gulima. <laughs> because we can soak that. It's gonna frisk the sash. Huh. Had it been choice ban, I think it would have been a very easy KO. Oh, that was a crit. I don't know. Um, Leaf Storm, I guess? Draco's kind of fair too. He didn't have any fairies left, so Draco would do. Right, he just decided to stay in and sack Frodon. That's huge for us. And I have Eject Pack, so I get out anyway. <laughs> but if he switched out, I could have abused that and actually repositioned myself. Which was what I was hoping for. But this is not all bad either. I'm gonna watch out for Vicavolt and... Like, which Pokemons are the worst right now? I'm feeling the worst scenario is Gyarados, but the Vicavolt is quite annoying. Um, I do invite Porygon 2 with this. But make it very hard for Jardos to sweep me. As long as I trick room up. 
Rings in Marowak. So that's fair. Um, I might still do an easy play here, which is absolutely hard sacking Zothe. Hopefully we give him the Wandering Spirits, but just Zothe here is just an absolute sack. Clear it, that's alright. It's not alright, but it's my only, like, damn happy it survived. It's Rockhead, so it's absolutely destructive in its capabilities. So, I'm gonna bring in Trucodel here. Oh yeah, I lost Rockhead, that's unfortunate for him. Um, because I can go for a knockoff and... Um, I'm unsure if I am slower. But knockoff allows me to... Um, to disrupt him a little bit. He does decide to switch out, which I think is fair, to Porygon 2. Which means he loses the Violet. So that's good. Didn't do anything though. Um, one Ice Beam coming right up. We can't do anything to Rudin Heart. I think. Can get to Moxie, which is kind of nice. Um, but that should be easy. Oh, he's a Trick Room on his own. Yeah. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know if I would have done that. Alright, I'll, I'll Soul Stance here. I think Jardos has the potential to come in. Marowak. Ooh, we can't do anything to Marowak. Damn shame I didn't have knockoff right now. Do I have a switch in for this? I mean, I really don't. Play Blitz coming my way and there is nothing I can do. Getting the flinches. <laughs> That's a play. Oh, it did good though. Get the flinch? Right? Right? No! Still though. The Wandering Spirit recall would have been nice here. <laughs> we still have Vicar Vault. And, um, I mean, I, I'm in a semi-good spot with this, but, I mean, I'd lose nothing with him either. Mach 2 can get the Moxie going, and I should be potentially slower in... Yeah, 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 this makes sense, actually, because I'll activate my room service and actually become a very, very dangerous Pokemon for a few turns. This is a weird situation. Yeah, he was still slower. Ah, uh, that sucks. Bad play on my side, but uh, at the same time, hell, I'll I'll take it. <laughs> I was kind of hoping I was slower, but of course it's you know zero zero, and there is just no way. Possibly. But at least we get the KO now. I should probably just have done this instead. I just wanted to get weird. <laughs> I had like this grand vision about Krugadal and... Uh, it probably wouldn't have mattered in the grand scheme of things, but definitely didn't help. Now I think Vickavolt is um, a very, very terrifying Pokemon for me to deal with. Yeah, hello. Um... Like, if he is agility, then I think I'm gonna have a very, very, very steep way ahead of me, but... Goes for Bug Bus. Right, that's good. Because we can soak that ish. Is that Specs? No, it's just that insane. That's actually... Wow. Wow, that is actually Throat Spray. That means this Thunderbolt is gonna come my way. It's gonna be absolutely terrifying. Can we take it though? Oh yes. But I am not sure we took that with ease. Or we absolutely didn't take that with ease. We got absolutely destroyed and um, 
I'm loving every second of it. Do I, do I, am I weird for saying that? I actually think this is awesome. Um, if I were him, I'd probably Dynamax here. He decided not to do that. Uh, so we get a big chip. But he's gonna KO us. Um, the way I see it, the only way for me of winning is... Um, is Dynamax and with... Uh, with you, basically, and hope for the best. This is turning out quite nasty for us. Yeah, we're max flaring here. And basically, somehow I need to beat... Um, I need to beat Jaros. I have no idea how. But I get a Dynamax, a low link signature, which is probably the only thing I needed. Um, because Sunday Day doesn't help me anyway either. Um, but yeah, Jaros or Porygon, one of those two is going to absolutely beat me. And. Uh, I just don't think there is anything I can do besides just trying to manage. The way I see it, I think my opponent did uh, so many things right that, uh, that it doesn't matter. Like, had I preserved Crocodile, would have been able to win? I'll say possibly not, more likely not. <laughs> oh, 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 what? Wait, wait, did I get a crit there? No, I knocked off the Violite. I just knocked off the Violite, I just, I'm just that strong. I just forgot I were. Damn, maybe I shouldn't stress out that much as I did. Here comes Jaros, he's gonna Dynamax that and um, hopefully we are in range. If not, he wins. Because this is my last free cream turn, and there is just leveling here. I have the, the terrain on my side, and I have max overgrowth going my way. It is all about if this Jaros has enough HP to survive it. If he does, it's GG because I can't stop Jaros. It is a magnificent threat, and I love every second of it. <laughs> I actually really do. It's one of those weird games where you feel it doesn't matter if I lose because my opponent played so well. Oh, we did just about half. That's nice. That's that's overwhelming, but nice. And we didn't see Intimidate, which means he's Moxie. And uh, that means it's a wrap. <laughs> so to my opponent, you know, he really played this game great. And uh, mad respect for my opponent. I really, really have mad respect for my opponent. Um, now, I'm leveling here, it's probably not going to work anyway, but uh, if I manage to survive this max airstream at plus one with my Fulgore, which I, like I said, feel is very unlikely, I could hope that Sideshock puts him in range. There is no reason for me of attacking him now, that is, but if I can get this Trick Room up, I'll have a second win. Don't have max darkness. Is Sunday still up? It might actually. So Max actually might be his strongest move. Yeah. Oh. Please. Ah, nah. Okay, my opponent. That was an awesome game. I think I didn't pull all this stuff. I did a few mistakes in the beginning. And my opponent Chris absolutely deserved this game. He he did good. He did very good. He deserved that from uh, that BJ. Nope. <laughs> but, but really, this was a great game. I loved it. Um, they were done something different, maybe. But at the same time, I'm still were in a position where it was extremely likely that Jarrow was gonna kind of beat me once once he dynamaxed anyway. So I think I pressured him to be able to be able, you know get the damage going, but 
at the end of the day, Jardos was winning this game against the majority of my matchups. So, me getting that max overgrowth top and the drift of half, yeah, that was probably as good as it's gonna get. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm actually quite fine with this loss. Uh, so, if you guys have been watching, as always, thank you for doing just so, and have a great day, everyone.